chord progression is pretty standard and pretty straightforward. And we'll start off with these chords that are going to be listed in the lesson. First chord we have is a B flat minor, B flat, B flat, D flat, and F. Okay, then we have B major, which is B, D sharp, and F sharp. So I have B minor to B major to B flat major, D, D, F, and A flat. Then we have E flat minor, E flat, G flat, and B flat. And then back down to D flat major, and then down to B flat or B major. Okay. So the progression without naming the chords is simply as follows. Watch my hands. Okay, and then after we play that one time, on the iteration on the second term, we're going to have a, a dialogue between E flat minor and the D flat major chord. It's kind of a walk uh, uh, transition between the two. So I'm not going to sing, but essentially we're going to have D to E flat, D to E flat, and back down to B major. Then we walk back up. This is the first cadence, and then the second cadence. And this is a really easy piece, piece to uh, play. Now, if you want to play the B major seventh, you can also do that. It's totally up to you. And that's the first half of the verse section. And then we have the pre chorus, which is essentially. The same chord structure, but we're walking down. So we have E flat minor seventh. We have E flat to D flat to B. E flat to D flat to B. E flat, D flat, B. And then if you want to add a little bit more dissonance, you can make it an A flat minor, in this case, A flat minor 9, to give it more of a punch, and then we go back to the chords that we went earlier for the first part of the verse. So, real quick, we have E flat minor, E flat, G flat, B flat, and D. Remember what we learned already, B flat major, D, D, F, A flat. G sharp, D, or I apologize, A flat minor. We have A flat, A flat, C flat, D flat, and G flat. Okay. And then we walk back to the original first chords that we learned. B flat to B to D to E. D flat. And B. And that's it for the first half of the song. Now we're going to go to the break in the song, which is a little bit of a key change. So after we play uh, this a totality of about two times, we're going over to the break, which is kind of the key change that R&B songs go through, and then it goes back to the original voicings. So the original voicings, <coughs> or the new voicings that we hear in the song are A, or A major, and D major. So we have A. Now you can play triads with both hands if you want, but it sounds a lot cleaner by just going with the bass notes, since the voicing is really tight in the song to accentuate uh, Mario's vocals. We have A, A flat, C, and sharp in E. And then we have root position D major, D, A, D, F sharp, A. 
where you play this section twice, or you play this progression twice. So you have A. This is one count, or uh, one progression of this chord structure. So we play A, and then D. And then we go to B minor, and then E major. So the progression is B, 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 F sharp, A, and then E major, E, G sharp, E, and D. And that gives you perfect position hand-wise, finger-wise, to walk back up. So let's start from that uh, transition. So we, you know, we played the last part of our uh, our chorus. So we're on the B major right here. Then we go to A major, then to D, A, to D, then we have to go to the B minor seventh. And then we end up on E major, and then we go right back into the original chord structure. B flat, B major, D flat, E flat, D flat, E flat, and then back to B. That's it. Marion, let me get with you.